Okay, so today we're gonna to make this cute little panty here for a American girl size doll. I am using a very lightweight, three weight, medium yarn here and a crochet hook 3.5. It's a real cute panty. Um, you can change the size of it a couple ways. You can either change the size of your crochet hook or your yarn. This is the exact same pattern, but I used a heavier weight yarn and look how much how much bigger this is. This one, the white one is for a doll that stands up. I can't remember the name of the doll, but it belongs to my grandbaby and so she needed a little bit bigger one. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could put this on a newborn baby. But it's a real cute brief. It's all in one piece. It's got a stretchy little waistband. And then it's just got a real cute design because you've got the waistband here and then you've got these stitches. These are just single crochets. And then once again, these are just um, single crochet um, increases and decreases. And so it just makes a really cute pattern. My grandbaby likes to use them for um, her dolls, either for panties or to pretend like they're just kind of a little short under the dresses and things so you can't see her bottom. But yeah, they're, they're just really cute. So um, let's start off by putting a slip knot onto the crochet hook. And then we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to single crochet into each stitch. We're going to skip the first stitch right here, closest to the hook. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So we should have a total of five single crochets once we get to the end here. It's much more difficult to crochet on a tabletop than to just sit in my recliner with my feet up and hold it in my lap. I seem to miss more stitches and have a more difficult time, but um, I'm also a little older and have arthritis and things. Okay, so there's our, we have our chain and we have our first row. So then we're going to chain one and we're going to turn. And what we're going to do, um, Starting in the second row here, we're going to do a regular single crochet in the first stitch. And then in the, let me, so you can see this. I'm sure um, if you've ever crocheted, you know this, but there's a front loop right here closest to me and a back loop of each stitch. And what we're gonna do is in the next three stitches, we're gonna cro single crochet into the back loop and this is the waistband that we're working on. So we're single crocheting into the back loop. And then in the last stitch, we're going to do a regular single crochet in both loops. Okay, single crochet, chain one and turn. So for 50 rows, we're gonna continue doing this. And it's it won't take very long because you've only got five stitches here. So this is the waistband we're working on. Let me do a couple more so I can kind of show you um, what, what we're getting when we do this like this. So single crochet into both loops for the first stitch, back loop only for three stitches. Whoops. And then single crochet in the last. Well, actually I can just show you on this other brief. What am I sitting here thinking I gotta keep crocheting to show you chain one and turn, and that's how you're gonna keep working the 50 stitches. And what you're doing is, you're creating this waistband, these ridges in this waistband, which not only gives it a nice design, but it also gives it some stretch, okay? So continue on with doing a single crochet in the first stitch, three in the back loops only, Three single crochets in the back loop only. That was my dog. And then 
single crochet into the last stitch, both loops, okay, chain one, turn, and then just keep doing that and come back when you've got a total of 50 rows. Okay, so now we have our 50 rows done, so we're going to attach this side over here to this side then with the tail with a slip stitch. Okay, make sure it's not twisted. Okay, I'm going to flip this inside out or right side out so that the seam's in there. And what I'm going to do is single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Hopefully, we'll end up with 50. If not, we can always add a few more. So I'm going to chain one there. And I'm just going to start single crocheting. all the way around in each hole. That one had a hole. If you look kind of where this row is, there's pull it apart a little bit, you can see a hole. So we'll go on that one. And then this one is more obvious on these rows. So you'll single crochet and then again, right in here somewhere, we'll find a spot and we'll go in there and we'll single crochet. There's a hole. And we're just gonna do this all the way around the band for five a total of five rows okay so when you get to the end of each row we're going to count our stitches to make sure that we've got 50 if not just do an increase or something um, to give yourself that 50 stitches so i'm going to go ahead and single crochet around here and I'll meet you just as I'm getting to the end of my row. Okay, so I'm coming up towards the end here and I've been counting my stitches. Okay, so that's 50 for me. And then we're gonna join with a slip stitch into this first stitch here and then we're going to chain one to, to close it, okay? And then in that same stitch, we're going to go ahead and do our single crochet. And I'm going to mark that so I know which one is the first stitch. This will be our chain one, and this is our slip stitch here. So this is our last stitch. So we're going to... So we're going to single crochet all the way around. Once again, this is our second row. We need a total of five rows. So this is the second, so we'll have to do three more after this. So I'm going to go ahead and single crochet around here. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end of row five. That's my kitty. Okay, so we're just going to slip stitch into here and chain. So I'm going to go ahead and put my marker back into this stitch. He's got a lot to say. Okay. And then we're going to place some markers in our, around this right here. So this is the first one and we're going to count 20 across and then put another one. And we're going to count this first one. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to put a marker in there. Okay, and that's going to be the front of our, this will be the front of our brief. This is going to be the beginning of the leg, and we're going to count six more, including this one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll put one right in there. That'll be the back of the leg. Now we're going to count 22 to the next one, counting this one has number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. And we'll put a marker in there. And then we should have six up to the next marker. With counting this as one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, where we're at. We're going to work across the front of the brief, row six, seven, and eight across the front of the brief. Okay. So I did a chain one here, and then in that same stitch, we're going to go ahead and work a single crochet. Then I want to go ahead, I don't know what I did with the stitch. Well, here's one. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in to that stitch. Okay, and we're going to continue across doing single crochets. And 20. I'm going to just work around that. So that's the last stitch. That's 20. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. And then in that same stitch, we're going to do single crochets again. This will be row seven. One. Let me take this out a second. And 20. Chain one and turn. And now we are on row eight. So into the same stitch there, that first stitch, one, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my markers back into my project here. Um, you can use markers or don't use markers. That's up to you. Put this back in this one. Okay, so what we're going to do now for the next several rows is we're going to start to decrease. So in the first two, we're going to do a, a decrease up here in the first. So we're going to go into this one, pull up a loop, into this one, pull up a loop, and then we're going to pull up a loop and go through all three. Then we're going to put our marker back in there, and then we're going to do 14 single crochets until we get over here and then we're going to do another decrease. Okay. 
So now we're going to start our decreases in row nine. So we ended here. I took out the marker. I'm going to do a chain one, turn the work, and we're going to start out with a single crochet. Then we're going to do our decrease by going in the stitch, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three. Then we'll do 14 single crochets across here. Okay, so we've got three stitches left. So I'm going to decrease. Then the last one, we're gonna do a single crochet, chain one and turn. And we'll go back the other way. You can keep putting your stitch markers in there if you want to. If you don't need them, that's fine. So we'll do a single here. We're gonna do a decrease in the next two. Single crochet across, leaving three stitches at the end. The stitch markers just make sure that you're in the last stitches so you don't accidentally add an extra stitch or anything. Okay, so I'm at my last three stitches here, so I'm gonna decrease right here in these two. And then we'll work a single crochet in the last one. Chain one and turn. Okay, looks like we're down to one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen right now. So we'll keep going until we get to eight. So single crochet. And now we should have eight stitches going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Chain one and turn. And then we're going to, for rows 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, which is five rows, we're just going to single crochet. So starting in the first loop or first stitch, You should make sure that you've always just got eight going across. You don't want to gain any or lose any. So that's row 15, chain one and turn. This will be row 16.
Okay, so from here, we're going to start increasing. Okay, so we're gonna start our increases now. And so what we're gonna do, this, if, this is the front of the brief right here. And so it's gonna come down, go through the crotch and then come back up and we're gonna build up the back so that we can attach it across here. So we are going to start our increases starting in row 20 here. So we're gonna start with a single crochet. Then we're gonna increase by putting two single crochets in the next stitch. Then we'll single crochet till we have two stitches left. Okay, we've got two stitches left, so we're gonna put an increase in this one. So we're gonna put two single crochets into that stitch. We'll put one single crochet into the last stitch, and then we'll chain one and turn. And we will repeat that by putting a single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochets into the next stitch, and then single crochet till we have two stitches left. Okay, this next to the last stitch, we're gonna put in two single crochets. And then in the very last stitch here, we will put in one single crochet. Chain one and turn and repeat. And you can kind of see the pattern. We're just gonna keep doing this single crochet, increase single crochets, increase single crochet until we have 22 stitches. And that will also be row 26. When you get 22 stitches, it will be row 26. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll come back when I've got 22 stitches. Okay, so now we've gone clear to the end here and we've got 22 stitches across here that will eventually come up here and will be the back of the brief. But the first thing that we're gonna do is go along the edges here. We're gonna single crochet along this edge, across the tummy, and then down back along here before we do that in order to make this just look a little um, nicer. You can see that it just looks kind of jagged and rough. And so single crocheting across there will make it look a little bit nicer. So, I've already, I finished my, my row across here and then I chained one. And so we're just gonna go in any place here. There's not uh, real, real stitches we're going in. We're just going in kind of any hole we can find along here. Just to make it look a little bit better. We're not gonna use these stitches for anything else. So it doesn't really matter if um, the number of stitches that goes along here, okay? So you can kind of see how the single crochets are making this edge look a little bit smoother.
going to go one more up here to the top. Okay, so now we are done with the edges. And so now what we're ready to do is go ahead and stitch this this piece to the upper piece to complete our britches. So um, you can go ahead with your crochet hook if you want to. You can do it with a darning needle. Let me turn this inside out. Okay. And so from here to here, we've got 22, and from here to here is 22. So basically, we just need to match these up here to these stitches. So I'm going to, I think that I am just going to be lazy and do mine with my crochet hook. So right in here, where I took the the marker out, I'm just going to go in here and then through the stitch over here and pull up. Well, let me get started here. Pull up and slip stitch. And then I'll go through the next stitch on the front and the back. Make sure I got them lined up as I get started here. We'll go through the next one and the next. And we'll just keep going across here, stitching this shut with these slip stitches. Like I said, you can use a darning needle and something else that you might want to do um, you might want to put a few extra stitches right in this area to kind of um, reinforce because that's where it gets a lot of wear and tear right there in that area. So we just keep going along, finding these stitches, matching them up, single uh, slip stitching through each one. couple more stitches on down the side of this brief just to make it a little bit more reinforced through here. I think I'll do one more right here. Um, we are going to need to, let me turn this inside out. If you look at this side, okay, here's our brief. Let me take this out. We don't need this any longer. Here's our brief. So this is the back. This is where we just stitched through. Um, I've got a thread that I need to weave in. See, I, I came down here and I did a few extra stitches to kind of reinforce this area and to make this look more substantial through here. If you look over here on this side, you can kind of see where it peaks up in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a, my darning needle and just pull a few stitches right in here to tighten that up on that um leg. OK, 
okay? But basically, here's our panties. I'll darn these in later. Um, but you see what I'm talking about, that I will just take a few stitches right in here to tighten that up and make it more rounded looking the way this one is right here. But let's go ahead and try this on our doll. So you can kind of see how our brief is fitting on our doll here. You can see this one leg, this is the one that I took the few extra stitches right in here. And it's a little rounder. This one, you can see this side, you can see it's a little bit more open. So we still need to take those couple of stitches right in there. But anyway, that's the brief. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's not that hard to make. It may look like it's a little bit intimidating, but it isn't. It fits really well.